Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are back again for another video, guys. Yes, I am a bit delayed on the submission of a video because usually I typically want to post every Sunday, but last night it was flooding in the house, so I had to take care of that matter. Nonetheless, here we are flashing back to 2022 when we were eating our hearts out after the wedding. As you can see, we are at our favorite spot, Manam, because of this water melon sinigang. Oof, I miss it as I speak about it today. And here we are, walking around, exercising as we just ate. I don't know about you, but food in the Philippines is day one. This is the homemade bakute my sister made, and I don't normally eat bakute, but this was pretty good. On the next day, my sister was working, so we wanted to pick her up, and after we picked her up, we just ended up eating in Maragame Udon, where they serve you and show you how to prepare the food, as well as you can pick from their already cooked menu by the counter side. It was a pretty cool experience, yeah. They have quite a variety of options. There's the rice balls, noodles, and here my sisters are catching up with their days. Like they haven't seen each other yesterday. I typically order the gyudon. I don't know why. I guess I miss Japan that much where they have this Yashinoya place where it cooks the best gyudon in town. Apparently gyudon is a like um drunk food. You know how when Japanese work all day, they get drunk at the end of the day and then gyudon is their place to go for their comfort food. That's a fun fact, but I don't know if it's true. I'm just probably making that up. So as I said before, I said that they also serve already cooked delicacies right by the counter side. Here my sisters are sharing their udon and just basically relaxing as we go through the marketplace trying to get the groceries, you know, and what not. And here we are about to visit our mom for the first time since the pandemic, so quite excited. And here my dad is trying to light the candle and so that we can say a little prayer for mama up in heaven. I miss her. Every time we try to visit my mom, we also go to our cousin's place just to say hello from our mom's side because we haven't seen them either. It was a one day trip so after that we went to Paradise Dynasty where they treat us like kings. I guess my father and my sister really go here often because they really accommodate my sister and my father. And I don't know about you but it makes the experience more enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> On this day, we had our dinner at our Makchang barbecue samgyeopsal place in Manila. And the reason why we go out is because my sister does this work from home thing so we don't want to interrupt her meetings at home that's why we go out kind of just distract ourselves explore and try out things you know and we're here just waiting for my sister we've already ordered some korean barbecue this place is really good not long after my sister has arrived If you're really, really hungry, you could request for assistance and they will try to cook you up the samyupsal. And honestly, they never burn this meat whenever they cook. But when we do it, it's a bit messy. I don't know about you, but Kenny Rogers is very nostalgic for me for when I was back in college. This is what I would eat and this would be healthy eating back in the days. Because roasted chicken. Mm hmm. Oh. 
and right before Christmas of 2022, my nephew and my tita or my mommy, we call her mommy because our cousin called her mommy too and he was older than us. So we kind of copied him. Anyways, they visited us in Manila and we wanted to tour them around. So we wanted to show this fountain dance type of thing in Manila. It was our lucky night as they also had some live performers during that night and it was quite an experience. You do not go to Okada without trying out their casinos. It is very commendable. The next day we went to the Gaitai because my cousin has a rest house there and we just wanted to cool off right before um, Christmas so we had some home cooked meal here just right before we headed to her place. My sister can poop. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a hard knock life. <laughs> it's a hard knock life. It seems to have her calling felt. I <laughs> just. Garcedo, hands down, mommy makes the best tenugu on in town. Thanks, mommy. <laughs> we only got to spend two days with mommy and Nicola before we had to drop them off to Partas as they were busy with their own plans for New Year. And here we are enjoying dinner at Mary Grace Cafe. And then at Gonzo Shabuwe the next day. <laughs> we did a little bit of grocery shopping as well as a little bit of restocking for our supplies for the year. Visiting Sema is very close to our hearts because it used to be Momo's favorite place. After eating so much, I decided to vacuum the floor. This is quite therapeutic trying to do this, honestly. I never visit UCC Cafe without going for this perfect avocado.
another classic restaurant would be the Italianese restaurant. They have the perfect calamari pasta with pizza. Eating out is fun, but there's always something about home-cooked meal by our parents that just tastes so much better. Hey, we're going to <laughs> Can you guess where we're going? Hmm? These two little munchkins just have their own world. Here they are posing like a model. If you've guessed where we're going, comment down below. Oh, Joyce. Come here. Jamba juice. Should we get some for And I guess I'm going to end this video here today. I will continue it once we land. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.